So what got you into making your home decor line here? I was um, just minding my own business one day when the, the vision for making um, home decor and finishing up uh, the devotional for women that I wrote. I mean, I was just sitting, sitting in my room with my journal and I had the sketch of like a market booth set up this, this design and price points and what kind of inventory to make. And so I worked for the next 10 months to get ready to launch this. And so I feel like I'm very much here on purpose. On assignment <laughs> <laughs> and has COVID had a positive or negative impact on your business COVID, the lockdowns caused people when they were you know to remain at home to really just start looking at how to decorate and so my business online just you know boomed it was really good and then for the markets we only had um, a few weeks of delay before we reopened the market down here at um, Virginia Beach. Uh, the organizers brought us in very early in June. And so again, it was a good market season during the whole lockdowns and safety measures. And so it's been actually very positive for business. And what's your favorite or the most special piece of art that you have created? I really enjoy making the reeds. Um, and I think just being able to make it like a gallery of reeds for a wedding ceremony or something has been just the most impactful to me. What are you making? Well, my sisters have always been obsessed with jewelry and one day they brought home spoon rings and I just thought it was so cool. But first I started making like hand stamped rings which just have like personalized messages on them. And I looked into how to make spoon rings off YouTube and I learned how to and then has COVID had a positive or negative impact on your business? Well, I started in COVID actually, so it was all on social media. People would come to my house, pick it up through my front porch, like they no contact. But I think it's been a really positive impact because mm -hmm. that's where I started. <laughs> and then what is the favorite or the most special spoon ring you've made? My favorite one is this one. It's a sterling silver spoon. It was made in 1889. So that's probably my favorite. Or this one. It, this was made in 1953. It's for Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Oh my gosh. But probably those two. And then what's your name and a my social media platform we can find you on? My name is Ruby Starcher and my jewelry account is called Ruby's Wings. Can you guys tell me a little bit about how you all got started in your business? It honestly just started as a hobby. I mean, I needed a table, so I made it myself. And after that, someone offered to buy it. And I was like, oh, I can make money out of this. And it's just something I'm so passionate about, turning mm -hmm. something as natural as a piece of wood into something so beautiful and divine. You know, like the, down to the grain, the colors, the uniqueness. It's just all so pretty and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, basically, like, back when, you know, kind of been, like, woodwork all my life, back when COVID hit, uh, when everyone got laid off, I was like, you know, I uh, kind of want to, like, you know, make my own money, you know, do my own thing, be my own boss, because at this point, uh, you know, things are kind of hectic, and it's kind of, from there, slowly started to take off, you know, and then this year definitely seemed like, kind of, kind of like a boom, and just in terms of, like, demand for, like, the, you know, the boards and tables, and tables are, like, that's, that's, like, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the big, you know, so did COVID have a positive or a negative impact on your business? COVID is really what pushed us to really to get out there, you know, because mm -hmm. that money was out there in the process. Yeah, so. And then what's y'all's favorite piece of art that you've made or the most special piece of art you've made? I did this eight foot dining table. It's like eight, eight feet long, four feet wide. I think it was like a beach. It weighed like maybe 400 pounds. But uh, I loved it because the, uh, the the wave designs, um, I have it on my uh, Instagram, uh, which I'll uh, give to you guys. I'll mm -hmm. give you a card and everything with the link and everything. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I just love the table. I love the, the, the character and the personality. It looked like it had. It was neat. It's really cool. Yeah, really nice. For me, um, I'd have to say this table <laughs> right here. Like, this one? This one right here. Oh, this table. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's a box elder. It's actually 
very unique with the grain. It's natural red, some of the black. It took me some work on that. Very cool. I'm very proud of how it turned out. If you're ever interested in anything I do, my Instagram is right there. Niles Creation. So is your name Nile? Yes, Niles. Okay. Na Niles. Yes. And then what's your name? Uh, I'm, I'm Juwan, and then I've run into uh, Juwan's workshop. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.